Hey, I'm Philip Lanos, and I've partnered with the Strategic Advisor Board to bring to you a video that speaks to the heart and soul of personal branding and its power and potential. In particular, in this video, I want to cover the idea of having photography done for you, about you, of you, right? A lot of people have a resistance to being photographed, um, making videos like this, the list goes on. And it doesn't have to be a video that you do, but you will need digital collateral that has you, your person for personal branding. It's kind of the whole point. And I, in the work that I do, I work with a lot of PR agencies. And when they're onboarding their clients, I interview their clients in the onboarding process to help identify the best way to understand the story and the angle that can help catapult the campaign, essentially the personal brand messaging. right? And so I recently did one with a social media influencer that had started a career, actually made an exit selling their boutique fashion store in New York and then found themselves with a lot of time. So they stepped into modeling because they happened to have the gift for being able to do that. Physically, their features were built for modeling. Uh, doesn't have to be modeling that gets you to take photography. It just so happens that that inclination to be photographed happened to be present. And it's because there was so much content developed through photography already that this entrepreneur in particular was able to then take advantage of a platform that had just started out early adopter of a platform. And, you know, you can think what you want, but it is a business platform. Only fans came out right now. This is an actual model who made an exit with a company already of her boutique fashion and then went ahead and took all the photography she had already done, flipped it on its head, repurposed it and was able to OnlyFans has a wide variety of content available, but let's not make any mistake. It is an entertainment platform and people pay to be entertained there. And it just so happens that she had the kind of material ready at her hand to be able to take advantage of an opportunity on that platform early. And from there went on to build up enough revenue that she had the capital necessary to then launch a social media app for people who are in meditation and into that lifestyle, right? But also uh, to help create a product to get started in personal development. But the point is she developed her own capital with no connection to any Silicon Valley or what have you because of the fact that she was able to take advantage of an opportunity because there was content that could help develop a personal brand powerful enough. And you might say, oh, but you know, if they're attractive and they're, you know, they can get the OnlyFans. And that's not the only way. It happens to be the clearest example of what can be possible. And you can say what you will, but the fact is that was entrepreneurship. There was pivots, there was rethinking, there was retooling, repurposing. I've done over 2,000 conversations. I know what I'm talking about. Those are entrepreneur traits. There are a lot of people who are OnlyFans who do not amass that level of success and then look to transition out to do other things. So I'm telling you this with a clear understanding of what it is I'm trying to articulate. So I want to encourage you to sincerely consider if you don't already have your own camera, right? With a personal assistant who can follow you around and take a couple of photos on the occasion, you know, take one of your employees who happens to be kind of techie and have them run your camera, whatever, if you have to do it like brass tacks. But I do recommend if you really want to go pro, and here's the difference, right? Is she was a model, right? But before she became a model, she could have just done what anyone did and say, okay, I'll, you know, try to take some photos. And this was around the time when blogging was still the main way of people being found online just before social media started taking off, right? And she had some print covers and things of that nature, but she went and decided to go pro. She hired actual photographers beyond the call of duty for any kind of campaign that she was hired on just herself to have a personal stock of photos that can be leveraged to create a brand, to create a message, to create, to create opportunity. 
So do yourself a favor, hire a professional, be pro about this. If you're sincere about the idea of getting a personal brand together, you've got to go pro and you got to invest a little bit of money that can last a long time. Good photos, if you get a couple of them, they can last you 10 years. I recommend you update them you know, every three or four years, but they can last you 10 years depending on, how, on your lifestyle and how you maintain yourself. But you can really go the distance with some solid photos. And I'm not just talking about two or three. Get yourself, you know, if you, uh, in advertising, digital advertising and marketing, we we don't say, oh, there's 30 days in a month or 31 sometimes. We say there's an average of 30.4, right? So you're going to need about 30 and a half images to help run your year. That's what you want to get at. And I'm not saying just photos, like, intentional, different looks, different purposes that you can repurpose to get what you need. And you'll have this content, this collateral to upload, to post, to automate your social media posting so you can focus on the most important aspect of social media, interacting with others and making connections. See what I'm saying? So I'm trying to rethink, what am I supposed to do? Just post a photo. It's all good. As long as you're active there and then go and interact with others. So this is my hot take on personal branding. I hope that it helps. It comes from real world experience. I'm literally interviewing people like this all the time. Uh, in particular with this professional, her name is Moon Maison. And uh, I got a chance to work with her through the Unstoppable Branding uh, Agency with Rhonda Swan. Love the UBA team. Absolutely adored talking to Moon Maison about her journey. So take it for what it is. A cautionary tale of making sure that you're prepared to capitalize on opportunity when it meets you. All right. If you like this video and you want to see more of these, please let me know in the comments. If you haven't subscribed to the Strategic Advisor Board channel yet, you need to just hit the button. You know, you just need to do it. Spread the love. Share this video with someone who you think needs to hear this if it's not relevant to you. And Whatever you do, if you have questions and you don't feel like commenting and having them out there, there should be a link to get a hold of me. If not, I can be found everywhere online under Philip Lanos, right? Whether it's philiplanos.com, that's P-H-I-L-L-I-P-L-A-N-O-S, or at Philip Lanos, you name it on any channel. I'm there. So thank you for watching, and I look forward to talking to you again.